Lack of Knowledge of ART in the Philippines Installed Cable Cars in the Philippines The general public has access to cable cars in the Philippines, but they are very few, crude in construction, and located only in touristic areas. This is a close-up view of the Tagaytay Cable Car. Bohol Cable Car Boracay Cable Car and Cebu Cable Car. These are crude systems or locally fabricated. They lack modern safety features. In comparison, there is a modern cable car in Tagaytay near Metro Manila. But it is only 1.2 kilometers long with only two stations. It is used to transport passengers between a clubhouse and a golf course. Only members or residents in the exclusive residential and leisure community can ride the cable car. Both these previously shown crude and modern cable cars are low speed and low capacity, and they are limited to only two stations. Source of Cable Car or ART Information in the Philippines for use of cable cars in mass transportation, the only source of information for Filipinos is YouTube and Philippine TV or news. Philippine news show clips of ART installations around the world as an example. But they are seen very rarely. And when they are seen, the principles of how it works and its benefits are not explained. ART cannot be clearly understood by only a few minutes of news or video clips. Although they appear to be better than the touristic cable cars previously shown, Filipinos still perceive the cable car as too slow and low capacity. The videos appear to show cable car cabins that are very small, carrying only a few passengers. They appear to move slowly. They are shown climbing steep slopes or along mountainous backgrounds. This would lead Filipinos to believe that cable cars are only good for mountainous areas. Nobody has experienced urban ART in the Philippines. Filipinos compare ART with LRT, MRT and Carousel or BRT, of which 20 million Filipinos in Greater Metro Manila actually see, experience, or ride. For the rest of the 100 million Filipinos who have not yet experienced the LRT, MRT, and Carousel, they often see these modes of transport on national TV and YouTube videos because of Filipino vloggers. They would see fellow Filipinos use these effective modes of transport. Based on video clips and pictures, Filipinos can see that an ART cabin can accommodate only 10 passengers at a speed of 25 kph. A BRT bus can accommodate 100 passengers at a speed of 60 kph. An LRT train set can accommodate 1,000 passengers at a speed of 70 kph. Thus, as to the use of ART as a mode of mass transport, most Filipinos are skeptical or dismissive. The biggest reason Filipinos are skeptical or dismissive of ART is its lack of knowledge on how it works and its benefits. Furthermore, the mechanics of how it works and its benefits are harder to appreciate and understand compared to the other modes of transport. As a result, many Filipinos disapprove, criticize, or mock ART as a mode of mass transportation. Two of the most popular ways to gauge the knowledge and opinion of a particular issue, item, or event are number one, Facebook page of newspapers, number two, YouTube channel of TV stations and vloggers. Every newspaper item on Facebook will allow the viewer to post a comment. Every TV news item on YouTube will allow a viewer to post a comment as well. Comments of Filipinos on ART 
During the Aquino presidential administration, ART was first introduced to the city of Cebu by Doppelmayr in 2014. Doppelmayr is the largest manufacturer of cable cars in the world. Since then, numerous ART news and information have appeared on social media. Some items have generated up to thousands of comments. These are some of the negative comments posted in social media in Cebu where cable cars were first introduced. The posts were mostly made in the local dialect. They have been translated to English in this page. At the start of the Duterte administration and two years after it introduced cable cars in Cebu, Doppelmayr made a short presentation on a proposed cable car network for Metro Manila. The presentation was made in July 2016 at DOTR main office in Metro Manila. Unfortunately, the proposal was not covered in the traditional or social media. Information about cable cars coming from experts and the proposed ART network for Metro Manila could not spread. Within a few weeks, DOTR Secretary Tugade would start promoting cable cars personally by appearing on some TV news channels and TV talk shows. He would later promote cable cars outside Metro Manila, in Cebu proposing a Phase 1 alignment. Filipino transportation engineering experts could not be seen on media helping Secretary and Attorney Tugade explain how ART works and its benefits. This is likely because of the lack of sufficient knowledge of Filipino engineers on ART themselves. Foreign experts on ART could not be seen as well on social media helping Filipinos understand how ART works and its benefits. With lack of information from ART experts, some Filipino bloggers and pundits would attempt to explain themselves whether ART would be suited for Philippine cities. For example, social influencer Thinking Pinoy would explain the pros and cons of cable cars. He would state that ART would not work in Metro Manila. Furthermore, he said that if the Duterte administration manages to build an ART in Manila, he will dance in the middle of EDSA wearing a girl's dress. A magazine writer stated that Secretary Tugade's cable car proposal is a waste of time and useless, and that instead he should focus on more realistic solutions to Manila's traffic problems. During the Marcos administration, the lack of knowledge situation appeared to be similar to that of the Duterte administration. As of the posting of this video, DOTR Secretary Jaime Bautista is open to the recommendation of installing cable cars. But as before, no one has been able to explain well to the public the details of how ART works and its benefits. With lack of information, misconception on cable cars would continue to prevail. In a Senate hearing, the most popular and top-notcher senator in the Philippines proposed cable cars to address traffic congestion in Metro Manila. Immediately, the proposal created a stir all over all types of media. Many were supportive of the senator, considering his exceptional popularity as a hero actor in so many Philippine movies. But equally, many reacted negatively in the form of skepticism, ridicule, and jokes, basically calling the proposal a crazy idea. It was the hottest topic of discussion at the time of the proposal as it generated a very high volume of comments at more than 4,500. These are some of the viral memes that went over the internet. mga poles nga lang ng electrical wiring hindi natin ma-manage maglalagay pa tayo ng cable cars 
these are some funny alternatives, Filipinos propose instead upon learning of a cable car proposal to solve traffic problems. Flying carpet, manananggal, zipline, and a flying broom. Translating the flying alternatives into graphics, we have these illustrations. One netizen thinks a cable car to transport passengers in a city is absurd. Instead, he would suggest a manananggal propelled transit. The following are selected comments from netizens since 2014. Consolidated Comments of Filipinos on ART Most of the comments and questions made by Filipinos about ART are similar in content. These are consolidated in this column to avoid repetition and for simplicity. We have provided in this column short answers to the comments and questions. Detailed answers and explanations will be covered in other chapter videos. The viewer may pause this video to read the short answers. More questions and answers up to a total of 16. Again, the lack of knowledge of Filipinos on ART leads to doubts by the general public, government, and potential private investors. This has so far likely resulted in no national budget allocation, ODA for foreign assisted projects, or PPP investors. Increasing knowledge of Filipinos on ART cannot be done through viewing of only a few video clips on TV and reading limited articles in print or social media. For this reason, a YouTube channel has been created to provide Filipinos more opportunities to have a comprehensive knowledge of cable-propelled transit. ART is just a type of cable-propelled transit. About 80% of CPT is ART type. As of this posting, we have divided the YouTube channel into five categories or playlists. Each playlist will have its own set of videos related to the category of the playlist. 